So today is September 2nd, 2016. This is the third day of hospitalization for this male golden retriever, 12 year old, who has already been neutered. And it came in three days ago with two medical issues. The first one was that of a maggot wound in its prepuce. So two days ago, this was swollen about twice as big, and there were about 20 or so maggots, each about 1 cm, buried deep inside uh, its prepuce. The second issue is uh, on its forepaw, on its left forepaw, there's a huge wound between the third and fourth digit, and you can see the huge wound here. And yeah, these were the two issues that we had to treat. So for the first one was the mega wound. What we did was uh, we used a cotton bud with chloroform. We soaked it in chloroform. After that, we used a faucet and stuck it up its prep use, which will get all the maggots which are alive out. After that, we uh, manually put the dead maggots out and put them in a kidney dish. So, that was, after that we removed all the maggots and this is what you see 3 days later. So next we had to treat the digit wound. So what we did uh, was, every day we will have to put some water with antiseptic into the pail. And then after that we will wash it and wash away all the dead tissue by rubbing it like that. After that we used dry tissue, uh, dry paper towels to wipe it dry. And wipe it dry and we used we put about 1 cm of a cream called Neodum onto our fingers and rubbed it over the wound. So that's for the digit wound. Next, we also had to feed it some uh, medicine for its heart disease, uh, such as antibiotics or painkillers. And after that, what we had to do was to... Uh, and now I'll demonstrate how to feed this. Okay, so first thing what you do is you grip the top of the jaw really tightly. So I'm going to try feeding it like this. So what we do is we grab the top of the jaw really tightly. Then we raise the leg. By right, just ask him to stand up. Let King pull the leg up, the other leg, the side here. Then sit the out on the chest. Okay. So we just, uh, sit down on the chest. Then we grab the jaw really tightly. Then right hand. we're raising our right hand. We grab it really tightly. Then we put the medicine deep in left the throat. Finger, uh, and then we right. Uh, close the mouth, then we release the top so that it can uh, bite. After that, we rub, rub, rub the throat until the tongue moves. Yeah. Until the tongue moves, which shows, shows, shows that it will open. Shows that it swallowed. But don't open the mouth first. Then. Just rub, rub, rub. Make sure that there are several tablets to be given. Okay. There are several tablets to be given like this every day. Antibiotics, painkillers, medicine was hard. So, yeah. so after that, we have to give it an e-collar, which is washed every day. So the e-collar prevents it from biting or licking its wounds, which will uh, let it get infected and more damaged. So after we wash it every day, we put on the e-collar. Firstly, we have to find the right size. And uh, in the case of this one, which we got, it's the second one. Or one fingers. So then we put it uh, show under and then do the second one. Through a second one. After that, after that, we put it through this and this and through a final one to lock the collar. Yeah. After that, we use a string which allows to anchor the collar tightly. Try it through everything. 
that we just tie a double reef knot <coughs> tighten the collar and this is basically the how we help this dog to recover in, after being hospitalized for three days okay I'll give the comments now uh, regarding treatment of mega wounds in uh, in dogs especially in the prep fields this area is quite a common area to get maggots in inside the wound uh, inside the prep fields which you can see even the faucet when it first came in three days ago it was full of maggots here on a four skin here and the dog was leaking and there were at least 20 meters here. So now you see this dog passes a discharge. This is a yellowish discharge, quite common in male dogs because the pep prepuce is, uh, is quite quite long, quite deep. So this one the owner should supposed to clean every day, but uh, many owners don't do it. So it attracts the the flies, you see, especially in the boarding kennel. Boarding kennel they don't have time to do all these things. So it can make a, make a wounds. And uh, the treatment is, first of all, sometimes we use cotton foam on a cotton, cotton swab and then just put on top to, uh, to get the maggots to come up. But if the maggots are alive, they will come up by themselves. And then when they come out, we just plug them up. See. But the problem is that uh, there will be more maggots inside here. So if the if the vet sends the dog home on the same day, on the same day, then as in this case the vet sends the dog home on the same day, then a few days later, lots of maggots come out again. And that's where the owner is not happy. Not happy because he could pay money again to uh, to do again. And that's where there was some misunderstanding of the vet as a blood sucker, but actually the owner should have a, should have a check. But in, in Tuapaya vets, we always keep it one day overnight. And then when the, the second day, we check whether there is a, the swelling is down. If the swelling is down, and the wound closes, as you can see here, there's no more holes here. So safely, the dog can go home on the second day with uh, antiseptic and, and anti fungal anti maggot cream and wash. So in this case, the dog's been here for three days. The maggot is definitely no more. Now the other thing is, this is called a leak granuloma. Now a leak granuloma, a leak granuloma is very itchy to the, to the dog, especially the big dogs. Now, originally there was a wound. There was a wound here, the wound was here. And this dog being in the burning kennel, I think the the staff won't have time to, to bother with it. So the dog keeps on leaking. This e collar may not be useful because it's quite short. Now, so the more he leaks, the, the tissue becomes more and more swollen. So this is called a leak granuloma. And in this poor golden retriever, it's quite old, so the immune system is poor. And you can see it, it, it even get worse, deteriorated into a big hole here, you see, and because the dog has been licking it, probably the maggots cannot survive here. Now, this leak granuloma, the treatment is very diff difficult in many cases because drugs will not bring down the, the granuloma. This granuloma is, is a reactive tissue from the wound. Now, in this case, in between the digit there is a big wound here as well and uh, so whatever cream you apply it doesn't cure the the problem because first of all the, the boarding canners start when not have a time or the interest to really wash the wound just for this time it may take about 10-15 minutes every day and uh, so what's the solution now now there are two solutions at least now the first solution is if the dog with the leg granuloma does not have this wound in between the digit, you can see this big wound here, then I would use a steroid which I inject in under anesthetic. 
and get the steel right here. Like 360 degrees and bandage up the dog. And from my experience, if it's just a pure lick and you normal like this size, about two to four weeks, they disappear, the swelling disappear. But in this case, you can see that there's a big problem of this interdigital wound, quite a big one. So the second option would be cut off this uh, this whole digit. Or you can cut it off. Or the best is cut it off after two weeks of antibiotics and painkillers. And uh, that would uh, that would close up the wound here and let this side let this side heal by, by granulation this side. But that means there's no more open wound here. We should not have a leak every day, you see? And also no more granul granuloma. So that is the second surgical option. That's, that's the surgical option. The first one is the medical conservative of, uh, action of steroid plus antibiotics intra lesion. Mm, other than that, if you continue like this, you won't heal. The dog keeps on leaking. No matter what drugs you give, and how, how many how many times how many how many weeks of daily washing you can do because people are getting uh, tired of doing this every day, and so the poor dog keeps on licking, and uh, me a whole dog is easily stressed out. So this condition will continue until uh, more flies will come again. So if a dog is to go to a body kennel, then uh, it, unless you can ensure that the body kennel operator is really uh, keen on treating such cases, if not then send you to the vet who either treat it with medically or surgically. And uh, that would be for the interest of the, of the dog. Okay. <coughs> Stop.